614 this morning at CBS2. Adventure begins with weather. And this week, meteorologist Nate Larson continues to take us on adventures all around the Treasure Valley. Yeah, okay. you've been busy. This is the time of year, though, uh, actually, when we I learned we see the most action yeah. out at this kind of popular climbing spot mm -hmm. called the Black Cliffs here just uh, east of town. Uh, and my goodness, apparently cool temperatures are perfect for this. Yeah, kind of make it the Makes perfect sense. environment. Yeah, yeah. yeah it certainly does just because, you know, we, you can imagine being out near the Black Cliffs in the middle mm -hmm. of summer, being black, and of course, uh, re-rating all that heat. It's too hot out there for a lot of folks. Right. So spring and fall, kind okay. of the best okay. times to see folks out there. Maybe you've driven out to Lucky Peak. You see people out there kind of mm -hmm. crawling up on the cliffs. And so that's what we did. We uh, headed out there to kind of get uh, an idea of what it's like to be outdoor climbing. I've only ever done it indoors, so take a look. Everybody thinks you have to be very brave to come climbing. The first time I saw someone climbing out here, I was driving past going to Lucky Peak, and I thought, you have to be very brave and bold to do that. Um, and 10 years later, I was doing it scared out of my mind for the first time, but I did it, um, and it gets easier over, easier over time. The fall and spring are the best times at the Black Cliffs for climbers of all abilities to improve their skills. I really enjoy how close it is to home. Um, okay. Since we just live um, in central Boise, um, it's nice that we can get out here after work sometimes within less than half an hour and get a couple hours in. We've got several hundred rock climbing routes here that are, you know, about 10 minutes out of town. Uh, good variety of stuff from like absolute rank beginner to uh, extremely hard. It's a great resource for us here in Boise. It's an easy way to come out, um, log a lot of time on the rock, train, um, and really get your physical and mental game, as well as your technical game, dialed in. Folks from Boise Gear Collective agreed to show us the ropes. And unlike color-coordinated routes I followed at a climbing gym, these aren't as easily marked for beginners like me to follow. It's a puzzle, and there's a lot of different ways to solve each piece of the puzzle. Um, so it's very engaging. Solving my own climbing puzzle... There you go. Nice move. I slowly made my way towards the top. Climbing's cool because because uh, it's a good opportunity to uh, challenge yourself and push yourself in a fairly safe manner, and, uh, and it's an interesting way of exploring terrain that you couldn't otherwise uh, interact with. All right, well, if you're also new to rock climbing, you can begin outdoors with experienced guides. Uh, they do have those here uh, in town, but most experts recommend you start indoors at a climbing gym where it's a little more conducive for new climbers. Otherwise, definitely a spot worth checking out. I know yeah. I just drive by and think, oh, right. that looks a little intimidating, and, and it can be, but uh, definitely a, a, a spectacular view once you're up there, right. and when you start to make progress, you're like, okay, maybe I can do this. Did you feel safe the whole time when oh, you were yeah. out there? Yeah, because okay. you got the harness on you, you got the rope, you feel like it's maybe kind of helping you up a little okay. bit. They're not, you know, cranking you up the mountain right. by any means. And that guide, um, I feel like it's very guide. important as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't have yeah. the color coordinated routes like you do on an indoor gym to mm -hmm. kind of show you where to go, but right. the chalk, you know, there's leftover chalk and okay. stuff, yeah. you can kind of see where people I didn't, Yeah, I didn't think that indoor climbing is fun. It's, it's enough of a challenge for yeah. me, but I will say also, I'm always very sore the next day. I'm like, this <laughs> is right. a muscle. You're working muscles. Like, I didn't know I had. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But, Full you know, and a lot of us aren't rock climbers, but we've seen them before. Even if you go over, I mean, that that area right off Highway 21, it feels like it's, people kind of forget about it. Like that Oregon Trail Park is a, oh, a fantastic yeah. park too, and you can Very kind cool. of get a glimpse of them too. Going yeah, people there. say a lot of other popular spots are Table Rock as well, mm -hmm. or bouldering there, okay. and as well as down near Swan Falls. Ah, but okay. uh, yeah, to continue our adventure trend tomorrow, it's gonna be all week long. <laughs> I'm excited about tomorrow's, uh, we see a glimpse of it at the beginning video when they talk about the adventures. Mm -hmm. oh, Finally yeah. gonna show the skydiving video. We went to Caldwell with Skydown Skydiving. Had a great time, and uh, I really enjoyed putting that one together as well. So cool. tune in tomorrow. All right, Brian and I are sitting over here only a little envious. Yeah.